We also have an extraordinary glimpse into whatever is going on inside the White House with regard okay. to their dogs. The dogs. So this is, I don't know, it's really, it's honestly sad. So put this up on the screen. It's from the New York Post. Um, this was uh, some, some records that were revealed through a Freedom of Information Act request. Biden's dog, this is the younger one, Commander, sent a Secret Service officer to the hospital and has bitten six others after replacing, they say, the first pooch, Major. Major uh, had, I think, was also German Shepherd, same breed, and also had to be removed from the residence because of some aggressive incidents. But the what was revealed through this Freedom of Information Act request was that Commander has um, bitten seven people in a four-month span after Major was ousted over similar aggressive um, uh, behavior, the shocking spate of incidents, none of them previously reported, mirrors attacks involving Major, who the White House says was given to family friends after biting Secret Service members in 2021. In the most serious of the incidents that were documented, the White House Physician's Office on November 3rd had to refer a Secret Service officer to a local hospital for treatment after Commander clamped down on their arm and thigh, according to emails released under that FOIA request. Commander broke the skin of a different Secret Service member's hand and arm weeks later after the president unleashed him outside the White House following a family movie night communications indicate. In the following month, Commander bit the back of a security technician at Biden's Wilmington, Delaware home. So seven different bites in a four-month span. So I have a lot. Of, first of all, for anybody who's accusing us, this is the fun block. Everybody knows that. So let's just keep putting it on the end. Uh, but I did a little bit of research into this. Uh, I know people- It's not fun for these secret who, service uh, officers. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, first of all, it's not fun for the secret service officers. And that's yeah. kind of what I want to talk about, yeah. which is I know a lot of people who own German Shepherds. So mm -hmm. I actually talked to them about it. And I was like, hey, what's going on here? Every single one of them pointed to uh, this, that when you have two successive dogs, that are both involved in biting incidents yeah. under your ownership, yeah. something's wrong with you. These are not breeds which are known for just being aggressive like this. Um, maybe they can go a little bit wild and they can get like this if they're untamed, but really what they all pointed to is like these are, and look, I don't have any inside knowledge, but based upon people I know who own German Shepherds, I know a lot of people with German Shepherds. They're some of the sweetest dogs in the world. They need a little bit of training. They need to kind of like, you got to force them, not for, but you, you need to be forcible, I think, in terms of your direction and all that. You have, and sometimes actually the breeders who uh, sell German Shepherds or give German Shepherds, they require you to put the dog through training mm -hmm. specifically to avoid incidents like yeah. this because they know that if unchecked, that this can happen. So unfortunately, I actually think it is clear that there's a care, just a sheer carelessness going on in the Biden household where they appear just like not to want to spend the time or even, this is the thing, you, you, know, you guys, people have a lot of money. We all know that, you know, thanks to the whole Hunter uh, situation. Why don't you just spend the money that a normal middle-class family buying a German Shepherd or getting a German Shepherd would do? This is just standard operating procedure here. Yeah. Or uh, it, it could say, there's another thing they all pointed to, that the dog is criminally under-exercised and is not being taken care of properly. We know for a dog that size, you probably got to walk that thing five miles a day. I can forgive the president for not having the time to do that. But you have a lot of people who work for you who could go do it for you. So at the very least, it's more like a lack of attention to that. And look, I can't help as a pet owner and, you know, I have a dog and I'm a cat and I can't help but just think, frankly, less of people who don't do that. You know, it's like whenever you have, I, I lived in an apartment at one time uh, and I knew a guy who had a, a, one of those Alaskan Huskies mm -hmm. and he kept the Husky in the house. I, and I just yeah. remember being like, I'm, I, I mean, like, he was a nice guy. But I'll never forget that. I'm like, you, you put that freaking dog in, in a in an apartment all day? That's that's not cool, man. Like, you, you, this is like a vanity project, so you can get cool Instagram photos with an Alaskan husky. I'm like, you got to think about this dog's welfare. Like, he could walk this thing. This needs actual space, and you willingly like brought it into this situation. If you don't have the time or the resources for it, then you shouldn't be handling that. And uh, Glenn Greenwald has talked about this as well. You know, he's very involved in dog rescue and all that. There's unfortunately a massive spike of people who are returning dogs, or giving up dogs, mm. or abandoning dogs because they got them during the pandemic, and then they didn't do, you know, or they didn't want to do the actual work to take work. care of a dog, a you know, in the work. long run, you know, this is supposedly supposed to be a lifelong commitment. It's like a blood contract in a way between you and this animal. And so, yeah, I mean, that's just on a personal level, you can't help but observe here, like, you know, they, everyone always says, like, it's not the dog, it's the owner. I don't think that's always the case. But when you have two incidents like this that happen back to back, 
I can't help but say there's something going on inside that house. Put this next piece up yeah. on the screen, which was some reporting at the time about Major Biden being sent away for offsite private training. And by the way, they say the commander is going to undergo additional training as well and that they're setting up mm -hmm. new dedicated exercise areas and new leashing protocols to try to keep Secret Service safe when they're around him. Um, <laughs> first of all, I liked this quote. Biden has insisted Major is sweet and loved by 85% of the people he meets at the uh, Biden's busy new well, that's not a great proportion. But they, what I found interesting in this article is um, they interviewed someone who was a professional trainer mm -hmm. who, number one, took some issue with the type of training that they were getting for major. Um, they didn't think that it was the sort of, you know, they, they thought that a different style of training might be better. I don't know. But they did say this is a dog who, through genetics and early lack of good experience because major had been a shelter dog, mm -hmm has probably developed mistrust of certain types of people. And German Shepherds, they said, and I didn't realize this, are the number one biting breed in the country, though they tend not to bite hard. Most of the German Shepherds that this trainer says they have seen over the past 30 years have anxious, suspicious dispositions. So it may be the case that this is a particularly difficult dog breed to have in an environment that is like the White House, which right. is tons of people in and out and lots of different folks. And um, That makes sense. You know, yeah, it does make sense that this may be a particularly difficult type of breed to have in this type of setting. So, but then I don't know why after the first incident you choose this breed again. Yeah, you have a responsibility not only to the dog. First of all, you know, I mean, this dog if is so If you're not going to be happy in this type of environment, then don't bring them into this type of environment. That's it. And then also, listen, I mean, I, and I hate to say this, but, you know, if you are a normal person and your dog bites two people, the dog is going down. And yeah. I think everybody knows that. I, you know, I mean, after one, it's really usually around. I think they usually give you, I forget exactly, it, I think it's state by state and also in terms of localities as well, what the rules are. But, like, if you have one reported incident, that's already bad. Like, bad. Especially if you draw blood. Uh, but if you have two and you send somebody to the hospital... At least here, like I know this because I got bitten by a, a dog, um, by somebody, and actually they told me they're like, "Hey, you need to go report." I actually didn't do it because I felt I was like, "I, I can't, you can't be that. responsible." I can't have blood on my hands, uh, like even those dogs they pounced on me and, and uh, bit into my leg. But they they were like, "Hey, that dog, you know, like we really need to, you know, you need to contact animal control. They're going to go and investigate this incident, and it will ultimately likely, you know, result in." being the dog being like forcibly put down. So anyway, I'm just saying, you know, also it turned, it shows you that, you know, the special treatment I think that they're getting, which, you know, a lot of people have to deal with this and a lot of people take a lot more care apparently than the first family um, on this. And yeah, I mean, I, I would just say on a personal level, I definitely think less of uh, them for having two dogs now in this incident and then not taking the care necessary for their employees. I mean, these people, like you think the circuit service guy wants to be there all day? You know, you think I've, I'm, I know some of these guys from when I worked on the White House grounds. They're, they're sitting there in full body armor in a hundred degree heat, sometimes like with a machine gun sitting in a bush, just literally wasting away in the heat. Like you, the last thing that guy needs to deal with is a dog who's worrying about yeah, it. He's worrying about this dog. Seven people in four months. Yeah. And, and by the way, in the report, they do have text messages back yeah. and forth from, you know, one of them saying like, uh, commander charged me very aggressively. I think it's only a matter of time before someone gets bitten. And yeah, so to me, that's maybe one of the bigger pieces here is how is it that we've had seven bites in a four month span and it had to be brought to the public before it's really dealt with? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right, we're subscriber funded, we're building something new, we wanna replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.